Welcome back everyone to another Sakura Succubus 3 and if you're new to this channel, please don't feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and share and you'll be like, oh, we've been at this for so long, are you gonna finish the whole game? Yes. Let's get right into the game. My legs tremble, I feel faint. I remember that Yuki, <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate names my dude, but then you do need names to know one another. I remember that Yuki was quite cold and distant. A lot of the guys in my class were perturbed, per perturbed by her. They thought her unsettling, cold. Is she even human? I thought so too once. Until she confessed her feelings to me on the rooftop. Oh, real smooth, Hiroki. Yeah, it do be like that. <laughs> Hot chick confesses to you on the, uh, on the rooftop. Well, yeah, you're good to my book. That came as a huge surprise. I hadn't realized Yuki, the stern, uh, uh, <laughs> the stern and austere honor student, could even feel love. I was wrong on that count, though. Her love was very earnest and sincere, so much so that it survived for years. Yuki was always serious about her schoolwork. It stands to reason she'd be just as serious about her heart. I do not want my subjects taking you for themselves. They do not deserve you. I want you for myself and I have come here to stake my claim. I will have you back. Th that's um, very nice. You, I mean Yui, but is that really your decision to make? I'm happy to see you again of course and I don't mind making you a cup of tea so we can reminisce, reminisce about the old times and the but there's a reason they're the old times. I'm not your boyfriend anymore. I should be able to date who I want, shouldn't I? If you were any other person, I would agree with you readily. But such logic does not apply in your case. You are mine. Oh, oh we got a crazy nut job here. Yo, we got a yandere over here. Yo, it's future diary all over again. Crap, her eyes are starting to look scary. The lights in her pupils have vanished. She isn't, she isn't listening to me at all. I can't just go along with this madness, can I? Try to reason with- yeah, give me my freedom. I'm not yours, I'm my own person. I, rent this, I rented this apartment, I have a job. There are people here who care about me. I can't go to the succubus realm with you, I can't. You can, you must, you do not have a choice in the matter. Oh, god damn, she's a dominatrix. Female domination. Yui takes another step towards me. She's backed me into corner. There's nowhere for me to run. I shall make you look at me and only me. Oh. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. I was your very first girlfriend and I fully, and I fully intend to be your last. Now stop struggling, this didn't hurt. It will all be over soon. Is she gonna knock me out? Yui, wait! I try to petition her, but to little avail, this doesn't work. Yui takes me by the arms and pulls me in. Well, well, well. I knew this was gonna happen. Her mouth presses against mine. Her lips are soft and warm. Despite her cold and unapproachable appearance, deep down beneath her layers of elegant white and blue silk, Yui's heart is very passionate. It must be for her to come all the way to Japan to find me. She's been watching me for weeks, months, days. It could have been years for all I know. We only dated for a little while but she's never stopped thinking of me. She's always loved me. We're just four minutes in. This is crazy. Now she's come back to claim me. Only me. I can't escape, though I want to. My legs seem to have locked in place. My body is frozen. I, I think another thing is standing up, you know what I'm saying. I can only sigh into Yue's hot demanding kiss. Her tongue coils up with mine. I can taste her saliva. There's something sweet about it, almost fruity. The softness of her skin, the warmth of her lips, the taste of her tongue. It all serves to melt what little self-restraint I still possess. Reality begins to warp, my skull pulsates, my legs feel weak, his arms are heavy, 
Vomit on the sweater already, mom spaghetti. Snap back to reality. <laughs> Yui's kiss is draining me. Oh my goodness. She's a little she is a queen of the succubus realm. All of the girls that tried to drain Hiroki di didn't win. I can't keep standing any longer. I no, 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 no. I think he's about to say the n-word. I break the kiss and step back, or at least I try to. I don't get very far because the wall's in the way. My head bumps against it and I groan. Ugh. The room shifts before my eyes. The walls, my bookcase, and the tatami mats all blur together. My strength fades. Then I pitch forwards. I hit the ground limp and insensible and everything goes black. So did we do it? Or did we wake up? Oh no, we're in the succubus realm. I know it. She just drained the effing living energy out of us. She drained... It's like... She slurped that golf ball through a garden hose. When I eventually wake up, it's with a dull and throbbing ache in my temple. I wonder if something's wrong with me. Am I sick? My arms and legs feel heavy, but I don't seem to have a temperature. I'm not hot at all. In fact, I feel cold. What's going on? I don't know how long I've been asleep. I don't remember what happened before I passed out either. My mind is blank. My memories have slipped away. It's like my skull has turned into a ca colander. I think I was in my home, but I wasn't alone. Who was with me? Mm, nobody. I strain my leaky memory to its absolute limit. My head's still throbbing. Another thing is still throbbing, though. Maybe all this thinking is bad for me. Humans were made to exert ourselves like this. What if I have a brain hemorrhage? It's a shame I don't have a famous doctor in my harem of succubi. They're all very talented in their own ways, but I don't think any of them would be much use building a scalpel. Speaking of succubi... Oh, I remember now. We got, um, harass in more places than one. Was I with a succubus before I passed out? I think I might have been. I can recall though, faintly, the sensation of lips against my own. Somebody kissed me. Without my consent. I pressed my fingers against my lips as a detective might run his gloves, f gloved fingers about a crime scene. If I was kissed, it must have been hours ago. I can't feel any warmth in my lips now. I feel so cold. Oh, you're okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure down there, you're pretty hot. Where am I, anyway? Huh, strange place. Now that I've somewhat regained my senses, I let my hand fall from my mouth and look at my surroundings. Interesting. I'm not in my apartment anymore. In fact, I have no w idea where I am. What the heck? Where am I? This place is like nothing I've ever seen. It's like a palace. I'm in a large room with a high vaulted ceiling. There are windows but the sky outside of them is dark which makes everything feel dull and gloomy despite its grander scale. Really? This room is huge! It's like something from a fairy tale palace but slightly wrong. The color scheme is too dark and gloomy to be befitting of a flaxen haired heroine from a des destiny movie. Maybe the spacious room is instead the abode of an evil stepmother or a wicked witch. That might explain why it's cold in here. It's full of dark magic for all Christ's sake. Burr. I shiver, wrapping my arms about myself. Uh, wrapping my arms. Yeah, as I continue to stare. I'm sorry about that. The furniture seems to loom over me. The bed I'm sitting upon, meanwhile, is a real work of art. It's large. The mattress soft with a fancy headboard. It looks like something a princess might sleep in. Princess. Funny enough, we, we they had a dog named Princess. My brow furrows. Why has that struck a chord within me? I don't know any princesses. They're pretty rare in today's modern society beyond fantasy RPGs and the like. There aren't all that many people who can confidently state that they're princesses and also can who can would never interact with me. I'm just Ogasawara Hiroki. There's nothing special about me other than my unique scent that Sakebai find irresistible and I'm a protagonist in a harem game. 
There's no way any member of any country's royal family would fake interest in me. Why would they? No human princess would at oh no human princess would at least. But what about a succubus princess? What if I'm disappointed in you? You've been an utterly awful influence. What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? I'm listening. Girl, why you? Do not refer to me as you. That is a mark of great disrespect. I am your lady and you will refer to me as thus. Now stop staring at me with those sad eyes. You look utterly pitiful. You are going to make me sick. Ow! Ow! Oh. Oh, okay, I don't know. I can't do those, do, do, do those voices. Huh? Bro, I see the light a little straighter, my senses restored, and I can hear voices in my head. They're dim and distant, but I think they must be coming from outside this room. Though I can't see the speakers, both voices sound familiar. One is proud, the hot, and haughty, the other pained. The first voice is a little harder to place than the second, but I'm quite certain about the owner of those low moans. Ah, oh, oh, you! How dare you, you B-word! You would call me that despite my superior status, you do not know your place. You've let the claim of the humans get to your head. Now submit before me, I won't stop until I've seen you cry. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing those voices for you. I've never heard of her make sounds quite like that before, but... That's Marina, it has to be. She's in trouble, and I need to go and help her. I rise from the bed, disrupting the dark covers that pool around me. Whoever lay me down upon this bed didn't strip me of my clothes. Thank goodness, so I don't need to hunt around in that imposing wardrobe for something to put on. I dash across the vast bed chamber, the soles of my feet slapping against the floor. The pain gasps and cries get louder with each step I take. I hope I'm not too late. Marna, I'm coming! Oh, oh shit, this is, a, this is a bigger place than I thought. I throw open the hefty double doors and step out into a large hallway. The hallway is dark and the sky beyond his windows is pitch black. This strange otherworldly mansion is nothing like any we've ever been. In terms of design, it's very western, gothic mix too. It looks like a little like, you know, the haunted house at Destinyland, but it's on a far grander scale. Everything looks very expensive. The person who owns this place must be on an aesthetic. And I butchered that pronunciation. I'm sorry. I wonder if this place has a billiards room in a library and... Yeah! My musings are cut short by another cry. Marna sounds much closer now. And this hallway is lined with numerous wooden doors. All of them replete with brass handles. But my senses are tingling. They're telling me she's behind this one. Hold on, Mar Marna. I'm coming. My fingers tighten about the door handle. I pull it to, wincing with the effort. All the doors in this place are super heavy. Then slip inside. Huh, there's nothing. I look around this news room, or these new rooms here. Eyes agog. It's even larger than a bedroom, if such a thing is possible. For such a large room, it's rather empty. Sparse, even. Save for a throne at the very back of it, set upon a raised dais. If this really is a throne room, it stands to reason royalty must live here. This isn't just a mansion, it's a palace! Wow. I stare as a tourist might with wide and surprised eyes. In a way, I guess I am a tourist. This place is unfamiliar to me. I've seen more new sites in the last five minutes than I have the last five years. It'd be nice if I had my camera so I could take some photos of this place and its exquisite architecture. But now isn't the time. I finally found her. Marina. Well, alright. I'm gonna cut it there. This is gonna be a 40 minute video. If you're new to this channel, please. Support it by subscribing or watching my other videos and we're gonna finish this damn game even if it kills me Everybody stay safe. Have a I don't know wonderful day year. Good luck to whatever you're doing right now and Thank you. Bye